Hello, Market Club members everywhere. Jeremy Lutz here with your midday market midday update for Friday, the 21st of September. And the end of the week is upon us and uh, looking forward to the weekend. Um, looks like Spain's trying to secure a bailout. The stocks have continued to perform well over the course of the trading day today while buying interest rate has remained relatively subdued. The markets continue to benefit from news out of Europe. Um, that news, of course, is that European officials are working behind the scenes to pave the way for a new Spanish rescue program, like we haven't heard that before, and an unlimited bond buying by the European Central Bank. Will this actually happen, or is this just another smoke screen, smoke screen coming out of Europe while they uh, try to scramble to get their problems fixed? Um, crude oil is continuing to struggle, and I noticed a powerful technical indicator on gold today that we'll discuss here shortly when we get to the gold chart. Of course, volume, I actually heard a stat today, and uh, I looked at it myself. Trading volume this week is, pre is down 25% over the same uh, time period last week, so volume is definitely light today. Uh, as we close out this week, but uh, we'll scope these charts in a little bit. Of course, we're looking at the uh, Dow Jones. Um, issued a green daily trade trial, a little bit of a whipsaw action for uh, the short-term traders there, but uh, short-term traders to get along at 13,626.48. Of course, we have a score of plus 100 now as all three trade triangles are green, so intermediate, long-term, and short-term traders are all in long positions on the Dow. And of course, the NASDAQ is going to follow suit. Uh, same scenario, a green daily entry signal for short-term traders again today at 3189.35, currently uh, trading 3190.42. We're green across the boards on the trading, so intermediate, long-term, and short-term traders are all in long positions with a score of plus 100. The S&P 500, again, you know, much following the other indexes today, uh, entry signal for short-term traders at 1465.15. Scores plus 100, uh, so intermediate, long-term, and short-term traders are all in long positions. And crude oil, you can see crude oil, we had that, that intermediate term uh, trend change this week with, of course, the issuance of our weekly red trade triangle to get in a short position. It's kind of a, had a little bit of a pullback here to 93.03. Um, scores negative 60, so definitely in a sidelines trading range. The weekly and the daily are both red, indicating a short position for short-term traders. Um, Intermediate-term traders are on the sidelines, and long-term traders still remain long uh, from the 98.60 level. However, with news coming out of Saudi Arabia that they're looking to uh, pretty much flood the market with oil, um, I could see this uh, crude oil going down um, for the foreseeable future. Moving along, the euro USD is kind of just... Uh, Flatten a little bit up today on the uh, news coming out of Europe, uh, plus 75. Short-term traders are still on the sideline, but intermediate and long-term traders are still in long positions. Gold, and we'll actually talk a little bit about here. Uh, gold's a plus 90. It's actually uh, up uh, about um, six, point, six points today, a little percentage, about 0.34%, currently trading 1776.82. And, uh, but let me try to use uh, Adam's old uh, drawing tool here and see if I can get this done for everybody. And what the indicator I was talking about is right here. This is what is referred to as a golden cross right here. And if you're not familiar with what a uh, golden cross is, golden cross is a crossover involving the short-term moving average, in this case a 50-day, which is right here, 50-day MA, and this of course is the 200-day. And what is it, you know, when it, when it, when the 50-day crosses, let's see here, we got a little technical issue here I'm trying to use this tool. There we go. When the 50 day right here crosses this 200 day or breaks that resistance level, this is considered to be a golden cross as a, a bullish move to the upside for gold. Uh, long term indicators carry more weight, obviously, and the golden cross indicates a bull market on the horizon is reinforced 
by high trading volumes, which we have in gold today. And the long-term moving average becomes a new support level for this rising market. So your new level of support is going to be this 200-day moving average. Now, the Golden Cross is a, of course, its sister is the uh, the Death Cross when that 200-day crosses the 50-day. But as of right now, looks like gold has gone in, gave us that Golden Cross for a long-term bullish market, which would confirm what uh, many people believe, as well as Adam, that gold is going to make a run up uh, in the future to the uh, $2,000 level. But we'll uh, clear the screen here, and we'll move along to copper. Copper is uh, continuing to scream long right now. Short-term traders are on the sidelines. Um, intermediate and long-term traders are still in long positions based on our monthly and green uh, weekly trade triangles of score of plus 85. And there's, you know, if if Spain can uh, get this bailout workout, copper is definitely going to uh, continue to be on the rise. Silver is kind of. Uh, Flattening out a little bit across the range here, but still a plus 90. We're along across all time frames. So intermediate, long term, and short term traders are all holding long positions in silver. We'll finish up with the uh, CRB Reuters index. Uh, it's had a little bit of a uh, update today. Uh, currently up 0.7 percent, uh, $2.16. Uh, we still think the key resistance level for uh, this market is going to be the 305 level. Right now, we're plus 65, so we're in a trading range. Uh, Short-term traders are on the sidelines. Intermediate and long-term traders are currently in long positions. And I believe we talked yesterday. If you uh, tuned into the blog this morning on our daily exchange, I put up the 52-week uh, high rule on a Friday rule. And I thought we'd just go in here real quick and uh, go over how you can easily find 52-week high trades within Market Club. Of course, go to the members' blog. Uh, we have a posting there today on the exact rules of how to trade and execute the 52-week high rule. Um, generally, what I like to do is uh, I go and look for volume greater than a million. Uh, we're actually um, looking for, um, and actually, wait, wait, I'm sorry, we need to go to Smart Scan here and look for it is what we're going to do. So we, right here, 52-week highs. So we'll hit that scan. Right now you can actually see there's, you can see that there's 500 charts in there. We want to pare that down a little bit. We want to view this as a symbol list. Last price, uh, say, greater than $20. Volume greater than a million. And we only want to look at U.S. exchanges, of course, in here. If you're in uh, Canada, you can look at the Canadian exchange. And if you're in Australia, you can look at the Australian exchange only. And we'll hit scan here. And, of course, remember we're looking at 500 charts now. And it pairs it down to 72 for us. So you can actually see here that you can actually sort them by volume. So we're actually going to go ahead and we'll sort this by volume. There we go. General Electric. I think this was actually in the news earlier today. Um, you also have Pfizer, AT&T, Comcast, Apple. Apple may be a little too rich for a lot of traders' bloods. Currently... Uh, Last price at 704.77, so it's maintaining above that all-time high of uh, $700 I hit a couple days ago, which actually I guess now would be a 705. News Corp, Merrick, Procter and Gamble, quite a bit to choose from, but it looks like there's everything, something for everybody in this price range. And we'll let's just take a look here at General Electric real quick. And as you can see, we'll kind of scope this in a little bit. And General Electric right here is traded as high as 2269 today. So what you're looking for is if this market, if you're gonna take this trade, you'd look for this market around the close to finish somewhere around that 2269 level. And you would you would go long this market. And of course, if it opens Monday down, you would sell. If it stays up through Monday, then you would sell on the open on Tuesday. But General Electric looks like a great potential. It has great volume now at the $33 million. Closing, get, see how it closes today. And look, again, we want to look for a close around that 2270, 2260 area in order to take this trade. With that, I'm going to sign off. Everybody have a great weekend. And we'll see you back here again Monday at 1 p.m. for our midday market update every success in the markets and have a great weekend everybody